Hey, what's up guys? Joker here. Today we are going to be talking about Windows 10 and how you can save yourself some money on picking up your copy of Windows 10 so that you can have it fully activated on your PC build and not have to pay full price for your copy. But first I want to let you know that this video is being sponsored by SCD Key. They got in touch with me and they wanted me to kind of inform you guys about how you can save some money on Windows 10 by picking it up over on their website. Now, if you were to pick up Windows 10, Pro at full price, you're looking at spending $199 on the Microsoft website. You can see right here, Windows 10 Pro, just to download it, that's no disk at all, is $200, so really steep. And if you go through like Amazon, you're looking at around 150 to 160, depending on, you know, the day of the week, it can kind of fluctuate here and there. But it's quite pricey, and that can certainly add on to the cost of a system, even if, especially if you're like a budget builder, and let's say you're doing like a five or six hundred dollar PC build, and then you got to factor in a two hundred dollar Windows key. I say forget that. Just get it from a key website because they're totally fine. I've been using them for years, and I've seen a lot of people bring up questions about them in in the past on videos where I mentioned key websites. And I just have to say that there is a big difference between some key web websites and others. The most common one brought up that I see is G2A. Everyone is just like, oh, it's just like G2A and it's bought with stolen credit cards and this and that. And it's just like, no, it's very different from G2A. G2A is a website that is dealing with anyone can basically go on there and sell keys. I could go on there and sell keys. Some crazy Russian hacker with a bunch of stolen credit card numbers could go on there and sell keys. It's anyone is selling it. So, you know, G2A, that's their business model. Whereas if you go to somewhere like SCD key, you're just dealing with that business entity who are acquiring their keys legally and then just offering them to people at a good price. So it's 100% legit. And I always see this all the time in the comments. So I just really wanted to get that out of the way because it's, it's so annoying and frustrating when I see that all the time where they, everyone compares every key website to G2A just because G2A has built up a bad name for it because of their business practices and it's just kind of muddied the waters for all the other legitimate websites out there that are just offering keys at a good price. So just wanted to get that out of the way really. Um, but if you do want to pick it up, like I said, $200 on the Microsoft website. If you go over to SCD key right now, they have the home version for $1268 and then the pro version is actually $14. So you can get the full pro version for 14 bucks and if you want to save yourself 10 percent at checkout you could use my code when you're buying it it's joker sk 10 percent i'll leave I'll leave that down in the description below so you can just go ahead and copy and paste it over there as well as links over to where you can get it over on the scdq website so 14 dollars i don't think you can argue that's a hell of a lot better than spending 200 dollars on the microsoft website and once you get your key if you've already got Windows 10 installed, then you can just activate it and finally have a legitimate copy. If you just hit your Windows key and type in activation, you'll see it right here. See if Windows is activated or you can just go to the activation thing. So if you brought this up and you weren't activated, you would have a little box here that would say your Windows is not activated. You can just click activate, put in the key that you got from SCD key, and then you're good to go. If you don't have Windows 10 already installed, you can go over to this page on the Microsoft website and download the media creation tool. I'll leave a link to this as well, but it's just as simple as downloading the tool and then opening it up and basically putting the files onto a USB. It'll prompt you if you wanna do USB or ISO, which would be to a DVD. You just have to have a USB though with at least eight gigabytes of space on it and you're good to go. And you just install that by setting your boot drive within the BIOS. So that's really as simple as this. So stop paying full price for your Windows keys and also stop giving key sites a bad name and bundling every key website out there and with G2A because it's really frustrating when I see that down in the comments on a lot of these videos. So I'm going to go ahead and get out of here, guys. I hope you all enjoy the rest of your weekend. And uh, don't forget to leave a comment down below if you like this video or found it informative in any way. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already. And I will catch you later in the week for another video. Ciao.